Dear student, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are discussing respiratory system in fish. Chapter number 13 named gases exchange. So today we will discuss the gases exchange in fish and uh, its respiratory system. We know that fishes is the largest group of vertebrates and they are aquatic gill breathing vertebrates. We know that fishes are majorly of two kinds. One cartilage fish, they are found only in marine water. Other bony fishes, they are found in both places that is marine as well as in fresh water. In cartilage fish, the respiratory structures or the respiratory organs are known as gill slits. They are from one to, two, one to five pairs. But in comparison, in bony fishes, there is a one to, there are one to two pairs of gills. You know, gills are the respiratory organs in bony fish. So today we will discuss the respiratory system in fish. First of all, you see that we have recently told you that gills are the respiratory organs in bony fish and they are from one to two pairs. And actually gills are formed from the pharyngeal outgrowth. In pharynx region, the pharyngeal outgrowth form these gills. So I have noted this one point that gills are pharyngeal outgrowth. And if you see that gills are externally protected. The gills are internal but externally protected by a bony structure called uh, called opercula. They are not found in many cotylage fish but only they are found in bony fishes. Now you see that opercula commonly called gill cover. They protect the gills from any mechanical injuries. Now you see I have second point wrote here that gills are protected by opercula it means gill covers and we already had discussed that that the uh, respiratory structure should be uh, weight should be thin and should be highly vascularized so each gill in a fish is highly vascularized means they are richly supplied with blood and blood capillaries. Now you see the third point I have written that gills are highly vascularized in fish. And if we see the close structure of the gills, that each gill is composed of uh, two rows, and each row is consisting of hundreds of uh, V-shaped, hundreds of V-shaped filaments. Now, if we further uh, try to know that filaments actually filaments uh, are supported filaments are supported by a cartilage or a long curved bone called gill bar or gill arch i have shown here in figure that this is a one gill filament i have written here gill filament this is gill filament and it's a v shaped we know that gill filaments are V shape and they are supported by gill bar or gill arc. This is a cartilaginous structure, gill bar or gill arc, and this V shaped gill, of, gill filament is arranged, uh, supported on this. Uh, either it may be long uh, curved bone or it's a uh, means cartilage structure. And it gives support to the gill filament. Uh, we, in other words, in other words, we can say that gill filaments uh, in V shaped are arranged on this uh, cartilaginous structure, gill bar. If we see that gill composed of two of two rows of uh, hundreds of uh, V shaped uh, filaments, and filaments are supported by a cartilage are a long curved bone called gill bar 
or gil eye. We see that actually in filaments there are actual respiratory surfaces. These surfaces are actually the foldings. The foldings and numerous foldings and they are just the plate like uh, foldings of uh, on gill filament they are known as uh, gill lamina you know that actual respiratory surfaces where the gases are exchanged in fish gills uh, are gill lamina because gill lamina originally supplied with blood and blood capillaries means that's why the gills are highly vascularized now you see that we have understood that gills are gill filaments are v-shaped suppose I have drawn a figure of a fish, bony fish. See, it's a mouth and a, these are the gills. And gills are covered by gill opercula, I mean to say gill cover. Now, we will uh, see that if we remove this opercula and bony protective structure, we will uh, we'll see the gills uh, which we have already discussed. If take a one gill, of gill filament, this is a one gill, gill filament and, and its arrangement is V-shaped. Now you see that if we uh, just uh, uh, zoom it in a, a, a large uh, means, uh, uh, diagram, so e, uh, gill filament, uh, just uh, uh, before uh, some time, uh, before a time I will discuss this, uh, that they are V-shaped uh, arranged on gill bar. Now you have to see the mechanism of uh, breathing and uh, fish. Uh, for breathing, we must know about the ventilation, that how uh, a fish uh, does have a ventilation, with how this uh, fresh uh, oxygen along uh, with uh, water, means it is dissolved in water, how it comes and how it uh, leaves the body, how it enters, where from it enters, and how it leaves, where from it uh, leaves the body. Now we see that oxygen uh, which is dissolved in water fish take this oxygen uh, by opening of its uh, mouth when it opens mouth it uh, water enters in the gills but the meanwhile the gill is closed gill opercula uh, gill opercula are closed <coughs> when mouth is closed when mouth is closed gill opercula are open it means uh, this is the combined action this is a combined operation of mouth and gill opercula that they are opening and closing uh, perform or uh, regulate the ventilation in a fish. Now we see the mechanism uh, in a fish that how the gases exchange uh, takes place at the actual respiratory surfaces gill lamella. We have seen, we have already shown this figure gill lamella. Suppose when a water uh, rich in oxygen uh, enters through mouth and just passing over through gills uh, uh, eventually through gill lamina respiratory surfaces I uh, see that if water moves in a direction that blood enters entering into the gills blood uh, up moves its uh, opposite direction if blood and water we see that blood and water moves in an opposite direction. We will see. We will say it is a system called a counter current uh, flow of blood and oxygenated oxygenated uh, blood and water entering into the gills. Now this is a this is called counter current uh, system in a fish. This counter current system in fish is evolved uh, adaptation because we uh, already had discussed in previous lecture that water medium contains lesser concentration of oxygen in comparison to the air only 5% of oxygen dissolved in water in comparison to the volume of the uh, oxygen in the air now we see that how this fish extract more and more oxygen to uh, compensate its oxygen demand so that's why they have developed this counter uh, current flow of uh, oxygenated blood uh, against water entering into the gills now see that counter current through counter current uh, flow system which is adaptation on a fish 
इट गेंस अबाउट एटी परसेंट ऑफ ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम सच वाटर मीडियम now this is a helpful it's a important from its a, a respiration point of view that it uh, fulfills its need or demand of taking more oxygen so there is a very great importance of the counter current uh, system in a fish now see that we discussed that the combined action of mouth uh, opening of mouth and opening of uh, gill opercula uh, regulate the means of ventilation so uh, it's a uh, uh, means uh, useful for the fish that uh, there must be the ventilation in a fish and uh, we also discussed that uh, when the uh, blood uh, moves on the gill lamina through scapular networks uh, the water uh, entering to the gills uh, and passing through the gills uh, even through the, through the gill lamina the blood takes oxygen molecules but in counter current system what happens oxygenated blood moves uh, just uh, uh, opposite the water entering uh, into the gill uh, gills and gill lamina so the water drops its more and more oxygen to the blood that's why this counter current uh, flow of uh, uh, blood and water uh, at gill lamina is useful for the fish so we have discussed uh, that means uh, gases exchange i am to say breathing in a fish and we also discussed the ventilation that how the ventilation is brought about uh, and we also study the uh, about the respiratory organ gills uh, and their internal structure what the gills are composed of where they are supported by and what is uh, what are the actual res respiratory surfaces Uh, where the gas is exchanged uh, occurs and what is the uh, mechanism of uh, uh, counter current uh, uh, means the system which is operating in a fish for extracting more and more oxygen we have uh, already told you that about 80% of oxygen is extracted from the water entering to the gills uh, through this counter current uh, flow of blood and of uh, and uh, water thank you